Jeremy, stop it. That's dirty. It's also not very nice to look at, actually. Get on your knee. Your <laughs> stomach, actually. Get on your stomach on the floor. <laughs> Aston Martin, I would put down into the uncool on, on the basis of build quality and it's not value for money, it's too much Ford. You are such an idiot. <laughs> this is the coolest car. Absolutely, yes. You'd like the Mustang? Yes. You're Give to me. Dutch. Yes, I'm Your Dutch. Your opinion's <laughs> worthless. <laughs> cool. Cool. Why did I ask him? Well, I've no idea. <laughs> I did. No, I I asked, no, you're not a cool man. You're just, you know, you're worse than me. Um, <laughs> I have a diesel. It's perfectly cool. Yes, right. Let me explain your problem. <laughs> what you're doing is you're saving money. Are you not? You're saving money. Budget how many? Yes. What, budget 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 comes, comes. How many women ever go? What I really like about my new boyfriend is he's really careful with his cash. <laughs> Are you with no. me? Have you ever had sex with a woman? <laughs> no, say he hasn't. You haven't, and it's your diesel that's causing the problem. Yep. The Smart 4-4. Four four. Well, now, you saw he lived in one of these for 24 hours. He even urinated in the back of... Yes, this. I weed in it. But this isn't... I'm sorry? My mother likes it. You like the Smart... <laughs> I you... do, I do. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> You see? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who said it was common? How many have you seen? Your job's to shut up. Well, we'll tell you how safe it is. Anyone got a car? What have you stolen this week? <laughs> a Renault Clio. A Renault Clio you've stolen. Which one is it? 96. A 1996 one he's, he's uh, nicked. Two stars. You've had it, mate. Sorry. Two, don't, <laughs> yeah. Go and nick something else. <laughs> Who here... Of the two, would choose the soft top. Hands up. Let's have a look. Who'd choose it? You'd choose the soft top. You? Yes. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Why? It's nice. Yeah, but do you think that we want to look at your face behind the wheel of that? Yeah, why not? Because it's horrid. Uh. <laughs> Some say that to unlock him, you have to run your finger down his face, like that. <laughs> And that if he were getting divorced from Paul McCartney, he'd keep his stupid whining mouth shut. <laughs> All we know is he's called the sting. <laughs> but first, let's remind ourselves what made the, the old Type R such a hit, particularly among the sort of young men who have, you know, spiky product in their hair and communicate by grunting. Him, really. <laughs> <laughs> and this week, we are searching for Britain's fastest white van driver. We asked for applicants a few weeks ago on the show, and this is how many we got <laughs> on emails. Now, we weeded out the psychotics, and we were left with five. You listen to what? Tom Jones. Tom Jones? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you work for the Royal Mail. She's slightly psychopathic. <laughs> and what do you drive? I was rooting for you and you got lost. <laughs> you were useless. <laughs> now, the star in the reasonably priced car tonight once said that she and her husband set their alarm clock an hour early every morning so they had chance to make love before going to work. Much like James May, although, of course, he lives alone. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. V12. V12. Yeah, whatever. It can do... Whatever. Please stop. <laughs> stop that. It's very annoying. It can do 212 very miles annoying. an hour. Leave it! <laughs> How bad? Yeah. Look, what, just look at it. How bad do you think it is? It just looks like a scrotum. <laughs> it's that embarrassing. Uh, I want to start, if I may, by talking about organic peace crisps. Hey? You know the organic ones? Yeah? They're about 20p a pack more than proper crisps, OK? The only difference is, is they've been fertilised with the excrement, human excrement, of a Mexican farmer, OK? <laughs> right. no, they, no, that's true, right? And Fine. nobody minds paying the 20p a pack more. If you buy petrol, the, the money goes to the government who spend it letting out foreign prisoners so they can stab people. <laughs> 
<laughs> French did that first face transplant. You know? Yes. Oh, we don't know what we're doing. We have the bottom of a baboon. We'll put it on. There we are. It's a face one. We are first. You know, I was in America a couple of years ago filming at this place in Texas, which is the biggest car dealership in the world. The frontage is a mile long. And I said to the guy who owned it, what do you sell here? And he went, we sell a lot. And he mispronounced every single argot. Hyundai, Mitsubishi, <laughs> Toyota, <laughs> Nissan, Jaguar, <laughs> BMW. Every single one of them was wrong. It's because if you drive into an American, let's be honest, they're not small people. Stone. <laughs> your car. All those road workers going, look at this. Under here, I got me a Nissan, got me a Honda. Got me a Humvee under here, got me a Mitsubishi in my butt creep. <laughs> That's what it is. I went on a bus once. Mm. I was eight. It's hideous. Um, if you finish a train journey, all you're left with is a used ticket and a disease from the person you're sitting next to. Yeah, and the person you're sitting next to is always the same drunken Glaswegian scaffolder. Have you noticed? Yeah, with 20 cases of harp. Yes, all of which... I know. so long. The thing is, is it's a gearbox, okay? Yeah. It has one job to do. One job. <laughs> exactly. Pull the lever. Am I a pencil? <laughs> <laughs> Am I a cauliflower? Am I a nuclear power state? I'm a gearbox! Oh, heavens, I'm going to swap some cogs around. It takes forever. Now, this being a new series of Top Gear, we thought we'd try out a new presenter, okay? He's called James May. And on the evidence of what we're about to see, he is a blithering idiot. I could sew before I could ride a bicycle. And I can cook. It's what makes me so attractive with women. <laughs> They're laughing again. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I've got the foot lever down. And, uh, yep, here we go. A simple seam, not going to bother with any overlocking. Oh, my God. <laughs> That is the most, isn't that a dreadful grill? This is Sharon, okay? She's all woman. She is the 911 Turbo. <laughs> now, standing next to her is Vicky. Now, Vicky on the surface appears to be exactly the same, but this is a body kit. <laughs> Vicky's been enhanced, and so consequently is the C4S. Now, moving along, we find Amanda. Amanda is the Carrera 4. Enough of a handful for most people. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> no! Loser! No! Loser! That's going to be weird. Loser, 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 loser. It's a ridiculous loser. Loser. <laughs> Look, it's a childish car, and look what it's brought out to you. <laughs> it's not a man's sports car. I mean, look, now you're just being childish. I'm not going to get cross. You lost. No, you're not annoying me. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> no harm in a couple more. Whoa! Ow! <laughs> Did you uh, bang your head a bit there, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> In trouble here, and they were just going. <laughs> you really? Metrosexual, it's the new thing. It's for the chap. He doesn't want to be too butch. He doesn't want to have, you know, like a big four by four. And he spends quite a lot of money on hair products. Don't point at me. He's interested in shirts. <laughs> Probably wears cowboy boots, that kind of thing. He's a blend of gay and not a metro not gay. flaming sexual. You are a metro sexual. Yeah. I can see you in one of those. Probably. How would you know what a metro sexual is? I'm not only in touch with my feminine side, I'm in touch with my gay side as well. You know, I drive an SL, okay? I'm gay. Okay. People who block yellow box junctions are the most antisocial people in the world. Okay. And what I do is have police marksmen on tall buildings picking them off. That is a harsh line you take. You've seen, the, you've seen the Day of the Jackal, the watermelon? Beef. That's what I'd do. Really? Yeah. And then what, you'd have, like, heads on spikes or something? No, 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 there would be no head left. Poof, it would just come off. <laughs> Poof, all over the inside of the but car. Bear in mind, the police force is already overstretched. You're going to need a lot of manpower for this. I've thought about that. Volunteers. That's the answer. <laughs> you see, I don't do that. I just shout at the person in front, flash my lights until they pull over. Get out of the way, old bag! <laughs> Not you. But get out of the way! <laughs> get out of the way for crying out loud! Oh, I'm gonna... And they can remotely shut the car down. <laughs> so he's really? like, if you shut this down, I'm gonna come there, I'm gonna eat your heart. <laughs> uh, they're gonna fix it eventually? Yes. If you don't mend it, I'm gonna bone your dog. <laughs> 
It's taken all the bones out of my dog. Mind you, that I have once I once ran 26 meters. God, it hurt. <laughs> Anyway, listen, I just think getting fat is actually evolution. I am evolving into a more civilised being <laughs> by being fatter. Yes. Which actually brings me on to an important point, dieting. Yes. I've got a diet. OK. Impossible. Well, what are you eating for crying? Food. Well, no, I mean, when I diet, I eat carrots and Diet Coke. Right. And that's it. <laughs> And it works. I lose weight, but I faint all the time. I once told a, 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 a someone who, was stay, who had a dog in a hotel next to um, where I was staying that kept barking at five o'clock in the morning. I got out and then hadn't planned. This is always the place. If you don't plan what you're going to say, it all goes wrong. Yeah. I got out and then thought, I don't know what I'm going to say, so I went, I've killed before! <laughs> <laughs> I was around, my wife was going, what have you killed before? There it was. M yeah. Male obsession oh. is internet pornography, surely, isn't it? <laughs> I'm speaking to you now from inside one of the Venturi tunnels. The head gasket, we're in big trouble here. And that's the compressor. In fact, a belt that drives the air conditioning had snapped and knocked a plug out of the radiator. Simply put it back in again, fill that with water, and I was on my way. <laughs> I can't even look at the front of one of these cars because I get sexually excited. I think I've just wet myself. OK, so when you want a drink, which you will, you put that in your mouth, OK? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm squeezing it! <laughs> Does that work? No! Actually? I'm trying to be killed by lightning. What? I'm trying to be killed by lightning. Sorry? I was just saying, well, it was in here. Has anyone got any butter? I've done some weird things in my life, but this is up there. All right then, David. Ready! Ah! <laughs> my plums! Ah! I am a bit disappointed, I must confess, in how that's come, turned out. The front, the sides and everything look good, but the front is very bad. To distract the judges from the poor quality, I decided to go for some non-original racing stripes. And I'm going to tell the organisers, these are the national racing colours of Ecuador. Except I desperately needed to wash my hair. Oh, get off, Jeremy, that's disgusting. I don't know which is worse. What I've just done is I've wiped my hair on a seat that's 30 years old and has had some Midlanders bottom on it. They would employ some local young chap, cover him in jam, he'd follow them around all day, and he'd attract the insects. They called him a jam boy. This is my jam bear. Didn't seem very fair. Oh, it was. It was. Because at the end of the day, he got to keep the jam. <laughs> you are kidding. It's your rules. Honda have announced that they're dropping the NSX. Oh, so Christ. thank you very much, Mr. Blair. <laughs> Why are you blaming him? Well, he takes the credit for the Olympics and the economy, which he had nothing to do with, so he can take the blame for that. <laughs> Fair enough. A diesel is faster than a Focus RS. I am now officially going to shoot myself. <laughs> If I end up in hell, <laughs> this is a possibility. No. Don't, don't come back. Go away. Go to Tierra del, Tierra del Fuego. And even I'm going to hunt you down and kill you there as well. May, you're going to die. I'm going to feed you into your own machine. Shall we, um, shall we get on? Fifth gear news. Mm, you know, we revealed last week they'd burned our furniture. Well, it turned out that uh, this week, one of their presenters caught fire. Jason Potato. Plato. Well, actually, baked potato now. He was belting down the wrong way at Brunting Thorpe. His car caught fire. He was quite badly injured, actually, to go to hospital. He'd burnt his hand and his face and what have you. We, would, uh, we wish him a speedy recovery. That, uh, I'd just like to say thank you, God. <laughs> well, it's a Sunday show. He likes Top Gear more. Yeah, God's on our side.